Welcome to Off Ranch, guys. <laughs> I think I inhaled sand. <laughs> hey, that, that was an intro for Demolition Ranch. Go check it out. I hope it turned out good. Oh, sand stuck my teeth. The first spoonful was brown sugar to look like sand. Um, just so I could kind of like swallow some of it. The second was legit sand. Um, I went to school, college for like eight years and this is what I do with my life now. Have you ever had sand stuck in your, your molars? Yeah, me neither. Till today, I'm gonna go get changed and uh, you know, less soaking wet. See you guys in just a minute. I have clean clothes on, dry clothes, feels very nice. Still a little damp though. You guys probably know by the title of this video that we are getting go-karts today. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I know. I'm excited too. I have wanted to get some go-karts on this pasture forever. I had a go-kart growing up as a kid and it was awesome. So I thought, you know what my kids need? A go-kart. And you know what I need? Some go-karts. They should be arriving very shortly and I'm super pumped. That is the reason we cleaned out the barn. That's the reason we took down the horse stalls. We, I also have some future plans. Um, that don't have to do with go-karts and why I took down the horse stalls, but we'll get to that in, in the future. But for now, it's all about the go-karts. But we also got some mail today. I'm gonna show you the mail real quick. Three things, um, well, this is called five things that every Christian needs to grow, and it was sent to me by the Gonzalez family. Thank you, that was super nice of you. I will check out this book. The next one, I feel terrible about this, but there was a note and I lost it, and so I, forgot who to thank and I'm really sorry if you sent this it's on me I lost a note and it won't happen again uh, they sent me this is an egg basket I, th I think you just put eggs in it and like they they just roll roll down I, I don't know I probably don't want them to roll I don't know but it looks like a decorative way to sit on your counter and hold eggs which is super cool because right now ours is in a bowl uh, and then they sent an egg scale as well to see how big your eggs are so Thank you, person who I lost your note. Sorry, won't happen again, promise. The next thing came with no note. Uh, and so I don't, I don't have any idea if the company sent this or if someone just bought it and sent it. I think someone just bought it and sent it. They sent a helmet. Is this the company World of Wonder? They sent Lincoln a helmet, which is actually hilarious because we're getting these go-karts today and I literally told Mary yesterday we need to get a helmet for the kids because I have adult size helmets and Lincoln loves wearing them which I think is why someone bought this is because Lincoln loves wearing the helmets and so now he has one that fits him but it's a little dirt bike helmet for a little kid and Lincoln is literally gonna freak out he's gonna be so pumped I will show him this later today when he gets back from school but uh, there's no note so I don't know who sent it whether it was the company or just someone who bought it and sent it, but thank you. You're awesome and you literally made Lincoln's day today. He is going to love it. Today, the dads took the kids to school and they stayed and we carved pumpkins at Lincoln School, which is a church. Um, the reason I say it's a church is because of what Lincoln wanted to put on the pumpkin. First, we're carving it and my dad came as well and uh, so he was like, I want Baba to help me and I want Baba to do a happy face on this pumpkin. So. Baba cut a happy face in the pumpkin. And then he's like, now I want you to do it, Dad, and I want you to make a mean face on the pumpkin. And I was like, perfect, I'll do it. And then he goes, I wanna do one now. And I was like, all right, well, I'll help you. This is a sharp knife and everything. I was like, what kind of face do you wanna make? So we like turned the pumpkin again to do like the third side of this pumpkin. And I was like, what do you wanna do? And he goes, I wanna make a knife. And I was like, well, you wanna use a knife? And he goes, no, I wanna make a knife. I was like, you wanna carve a knife in the pumpkin at church? And he was like, yes. And I was like, okay. And so we did. You guys never come hang out with me unless I'm getting go-karts. Yeah, but they're cool. Yeah. You know what else is cool? What? Your mustache. Oh, will I shave the rest of it? 
So now I'm really gonna win. <laughs> Are you gonna keep it all November? Yes. Go you. Hardcore. Are you proud of me? Yeah. Uh, are you gonna do it with me? Or you, do you love me? That's what I really want you to do. Yes. Like, so, grow a mustache. Okay. Do it for the people. It's coming in. It's coming in thick. looking good, but... So, the chin part, not so much. Yeah. The cheeks. Right, let's trade it. He is such an easy sell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the go-karts are here. Also, my dad. Hey, dad. This is... So, this is the little one for Lincoln. And then we have a big one for for the big boys. So these are from gopowersports.com. This is the Mini XRX, and that is the 150 XRS. This one obviously is not put together, which is why I have a crew here to help me put it together. We're gonna do that right now. You can say I lay secret and I want to tell you I, I need to come clean one second okay Lincoln is gonna freak out the, the girls are gonna like this too but Lincoln is going to flip out when he sees that he's also gonna love riding in this one the secret that I need to come clean about is well we didn't just get those <laughs> we got a green one oh and uh, we got an orange one and we Got a freaking blue one! These are from gopowersports.com. The Mini over here is a 5.5 horsepower. These though, they go like 40 miles an hour and they're seven inches off the ground. So we should be able to like drive them over stuff and like, I mean, they're made for off-roading. You can see with these big knobby tires. Look at that thing. Look at this thing. And we thought, you know what's cool is one, but you know it'd be better if you can take friends out. We, I want other YouTubers to be able to come over and play with these things. I want my friends to come over, family to come over, and just be able to take these things anywhere. We wanted super capable go-karts, and I think we got, the chickens even like them. I think we got them. We actually don't have time to play with go-karts today though, unfortunately. But we don't have time today because I actually gotta go up to the high school working on the Bronco again today, and I gotta hide these things in the barn really quick before Mayor and the kids come home because I don't want the kids to see them without me. Lincoln knows they're coming today, but I want to see his face when he sees them because he is going to love it. Here at Auto Tech, this is the Bronco frame. This is a spring bucket off of an F-350, and that is because this axle is off an F-350 and we are putting this, these beefier axles underneath the Bronco. So we need this to match up, so we're having to do a little cutting. Heading home now to go show the go-karts to the kids. I just told uh, the fam, Link, Addie, hey Mare, Hi. and Annie, is looking out the window over there because I told them I have a surprise for them outside. Do you think you're gonna like it? Or do you think it's gonna be boring? Let's go check it out. You think it's gonna be good or boring? Good. Okay, let's go check it out and we'll see if you'll like it or not. Lincoln, drum roll, bang on the board. Okay, oh, it's stuck, that one won't open. Go, go, go! These look crazy. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yeah, we can ride in all of them. Can we ride in this one right now? 
Yeah. And Lincoln, come check out this one. There's a small one that kids can drive. Isn't that cool? Yeah, we sure right can. Now? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that it's actually super fast, and I need to make it less fast before you drive it. Okay. So we'll drive the big ones tonight. Also, I'm wearing our Veterans Day shirt. Stand for those who stood for you. Looks good, right? Super cool. Yeah. So this is just supporting our veterans, showing your support if you're wanting to support our veterans. And five dollars out of every shirt sold goes to the Fisher House Foundation, which supports veterans um, and it's a limited time run uh, if you want them for veterans day you got to order pretty quickly and then we're cutting them off at veterans day and you can't get them anymore so if you're interested we have these awesome new shirts and it goes to a good cause okay are y'all ready this does not look super safe we're going slow though we're not wearing helmets we're going really slow let's go get her Hey, good looking. Hey. Uh, turn on your headlights. Oh, looking good now. Let's go. What's up? That was fun. Did you like that? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty fun. I like that too. We just turned them off and took a little Instagram pic with them because they're so cool. Link, Link, good or bad? You like them or no? Lincoln, I have one more thing to show you. What? This is just for Lincoln. Y'all are all gonna get one eventually, so you're gonna share Lincoln's until y'all have them too. Someone sent you a helmet. You're gonna look so cool. You have to share with your sisters until we get them one. This helmet is so cool. <laughs> I can ride it on my bike even? Yeah, it's a dirt bike helmet. A dirt bike helmet? Yeah, I've scratched it up already, all right. <laughs> Here, get mommy to help you put it on. Let's see what you look like with it. Fits perfect! Looking good, dude! Can you say thank you to whoever gave that to you? Thank you. Say, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You look awesome, dude. That is all we got for you today, because as you can see, it's getting dark, and we need to go do dinner and get kids in bed and all that. Crazy day. Thank you for being here. Go check out GoPowerSports.com, because they helped make all of this happen, and we are grateful for it. We're going to link them in the description below and uh, more to come with the go-karts. Tomorrow, I think if we can make it work, I need to go up to the vet clinic for a little bit, but if I can make it work, I need to get a tractor out here. I'm going to go borrow my dad's tractor and shredder and we're going to cut a course through my pasture and I need kind of ideas like, should we have more straightaways? Should we have like a bunch of winding stuff? Some no. <laughs> Too dangerous? I'm a little bit nervous. They have roll cages for a reason. And also I was thinking like some like shortcuts, like some splits off, and then eventually I want to come like dig some dips and some jumps. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mare.